just got your new Bronco and you can't tow anything? Get hitched. Welcome to another episode of Alpine Garage, Bronco Daily. Today we're going to be talking about receivers for your Bronco. There's really three major receivers that you can purchase for this vehicle. The first one is a Kurt receiver with a short receiver on it right here. This whole thing actually fits right underneath the bumper of the Bronco and from what I can tell, it doesn't affect the departure angle of the back of the Bronco uh, at all. In fact, the tow hooks will actually stick up further down than anything on this wheel. So you'll probably hit the tow hooks before you hit the receiver. The second is going to be the draw tight extended receiver version. So this one has a longer receiver. I believe it's about four inches longer, made to clear that rear tire so that you can mount accessories onto the back of that and have it flush with the wheel or even a little bit past that. They are fundamentally different in their capacities. Uh, and also that longer draw tight receiver is gonna have a different departure angle than this one will on the, on the Bronco. So it seems to me that you will actually probably hit that if you do some pretty difficult wheeling scenarios where you need the Bronco to have a really high departure angle. So keep that in mind. And then the third one is the Ford version. Now the Ford version is very similar to this one, uh, but it is $350. Whereas the Kurt that I purchased was right around $110, now it's actually below $100. It's less than a third the price, and then the draw tight is right around $120 because it has a little bit more metal in it probably. But they're still both a third the price of the Ford, so why would you even consider the Ford version? Let's knock the Ford out of the conversation for the second. If you're gonna be getting the Ford, you probably have enough points to, to get it, and then, so basically that's free, that's a free hitch. So free is better than $110. Second is, you might be able to get that installed onto the Bronco and then rolled up into your financing. So there again, you know, it makes it easier to pay on it. If you're not the person that's going to be purchasing this receiver and installing it yourself, you're going to be purchasing it from somewhere else and taking it to a place to have it installed. It might be just as easy to have your dealer install it and then roll it up into your financing and then you don't have to worry about it. Otherwise, you're probably gonna go with the Kurt or the draw type. Now, most people are gonna probably go with the Kurt. The Kurt is a shorter receiver, so it fits very comfortably underneath the Bronco. It doesn't affect the departure angle hardly at all and it is very inexpensive at right around $100. The draw tight is a longer receiver shaft, but with this one you can actually put an extension of any length that you want to get past that tire if you have an accessory that's gonna come straight up after that. So, and you can get those pieces anywhere. But if you wanted to go with the draw tight, then it would be all in one, it would be going, it would be getting you past your tire and you wouldn't have any issues other than departure angle. But we decided to go with this guy right here, which is right out about $99.83 on Cared. Actually, you can get it through just about anywhere at this point. It comes with just the receiver, and it comes with the receiver hardware, uh, grade eight bolts, already sized to fit, uh, because the frame, it's tight where you put it into the frame, so that's already there. Now that was the easy part. The harder part is actually the harness. So there's three different ways that you can hook this up. You can buy just a standard truck harness. The standard truck harnesses will wire in. You're gonna have to do some splicing and it's kind of a mess if you don't know what you're doing. So then you have two other good options. You have the Takancha, which is the one that we purchased right here. And then you have the Kurt version. They're actually both very similar. Uh, both of them have that powered modulator. So they're going to be very equivalent to that. They both have T connectors. So they're gonna be very easy to install. The Kurt is less money. It is less than $100. I think I saw it for right around $89 on e-trailer. And then the Takancha is going to be a little over 100. I pay $109 for this one right here. So why would I pay the extra $20 for this guy? And it was because it has a higher amp rating. The two different poles that it runs, which is one to the brake lights and turn signals, and then one goes to your running lights, like marker lights, things like that, clearance lights. The Kurt runs three and six. So it runs two amps less in one side and one and a half amps less in the other. Now, is that a big deal? Probably not. If you're running an LED trailer, which most trailers are LEDs right now, uh, you're gonna be running well south of the numbers that are on the Kurt harness. If you run incandescent lights or you run a lot of marker lights on your trailer, you may be running more than three and five amps, although it's not likely. So what we did was because we are building our trailer uh, for the most part from scratch. We wanted to make sure that we had plenty of amperage capacity for the trailer that we're gonna be wiring. And it's gonna have all brand new lighting. It's probably gonna have a lot of lighting on it. So we went ahead and went with a higher one. It's $20 more. It's a safe bet. 
Now that said, either of those two options will be perfectly fine for what most people are going to be pulling trailers with. So I don't think there's anything wrong with the current harness, but for $20 more, why not? Now tomorrow we are going to be doing an install of this Kurt receiver and then also wiring it with the Takancha wiring kit. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. So that is a wrap from Alpine Garage. I hope you found this informative. If you like this video, please hit the like button and throw a comment down below. Tell me what you think about Tell me what the Bronco and what its capacities are, what you're going to be using it for. Join us in our next video tomorrow where we install this bad boy. And see the end screen for some of our older videos.